It's actually Lingardium Liviosa. Let's add a custom enchantment to the game. All right, we found ourselves back in Intelligia once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to add a custom enchantment to the game. And I don't know what that intro was. Let's just skip over that and just and just jump right in. So in our tutorial mod package, right click new package called enchantment. And in there, we'll need two classes. One of them is going to be the mod enchantments class. And that is going to look very well similar to some other classes we've done before and we'll immediately create the other class as well. This is going to be the Lightning Striker Enchantment, and this will extend the Enchantment class. So let's just create the Enchantment first, and what we need is hover over this, create Constructor Matching Super right here, and then we can, well, overwrite two methods that are very important. One of the ones is going to be the get max level method. So just type that in and autocomplete with tab. And then we'll say two here. So this basically has two levels, the lightning striker enchantment. And this is very important because this also determines how many uh, books are actually generated. So the books that you know actually generate automatically when you create an enchantment and we register that properly. And then there's another method that we'll take a look at in just a moment. However, first of all, I want to direct your attention right here to the enchantment class. Let's middle mouse button click on this and let's actually go through a few things here. So as you can see, there are a few methods that we can override, get damage protection, get damage bonus. We can even say, hey, is this compatible with something else? And there's get post attack, get do post hurt, uh, treasure only. So there's a few things that you can override here. Now, when it comes to enchantments, it's always a particular thing because sometimes if you have something like, oh, I want to do something crazy. I want the player to be able to fly. If they have this enchantment, it's like, okay, you can probably take a look at some of the, you know, creative mode things there. But when it comes to the implementation of an actual enchantment, some Java knowledge is definitely required because, well, it just boils down to using what you have there. And it's really hard because if you want a very particular enchantment, then you're just going to have to just try out of a lot of stuff and basically just know uh, a whole bunch of Java. For our purposes, the Lightning Striker enchantment is just going to spawn a lightning at level one when you hit an enemy, and it's going to spawn two lightnings at level two. So that's actually fairly easy. And we're going to say do a post attack. So this happens sort of after the attack here. And what we'll say, first of all, is we're going to say, hey, if p attacker dot level dot is client side, then what we're going to do is we first of all know that we are on the server. Very important that you add the exclamation point here to negate this so that we are not client side, but server side. And then we can just, you know, make it a little bit nicer here. So we can say server level is the world equal to a p attacker dot level. And we will cast this by just adding parentheses at the front and just saying server level here. Then we can get the server player as well, which is the player. This is equal to the p attacker dot cast. And then we can just say server player. There you go. And then we also need the block pass called position, which is equal to p target dot block position. And then let's import this, clicking on this and pressing Alt and Enter. Then we'll import the block pass class as well. And then we're gonna just have two if statements. If p level is equal to one, then we'll spawn one lightning. And the way that you spawn a lightning is the following way. We're gonna say entity type dot lightning bolt dot spawn in the world or the player. Actually, that's not right. This is null. There you go. And then the player at position. This is the mob spawn type dot, let's say triggered here. And then we're going to say true and true, true and true here. And that should spawn the lightning. And we'll just copy over this, select it, press control C, control V to paste it in. We'll just say level two right here. And then we'll just copy this as well. Control C, control V. And that's pretty much all that we want to do here in this case. So we're going to spawn one lightning if this enchantment is level one. And if it's two, then we're going to spawn two lightnings. That's pretty much all that we want to do here. This is all that we, the code that we require. Now to actually register an enchantment, we go into our mod enchantments class. And what we're going to say is we're going to say public static final deferred register of type enchantment. This is the enchantments equals to deferred register dot create forge registries dot enchantments. And then this is the tutorial mod dot mod ID. 
and where there is a deferred register, I hear you cry aloud, there is also a public static void register method with an I event bus called event bus, and then of course calling the enchantments deferred register dot register method with the event bus. This of course then also needs to be called inside of our tutorial mod constructor right here. So mod enchantments dot register the event bus. Now this would be basically done and now what we need to do is we just need to add the actual registry object here so this is public static registry object of type enchantment this is the lightning underscore striker which is equal to the enchantments dot register lightning underscore striker striker there you go and then a new lightning striker enchantment right there and then we need to pass in three different parameters one of the ones is going to be enchantment dot rarity let's just make this uncommon here and we're going to say enchantment category this is going to be i believe weapon makes the most sense and then the equipment slot is going to be the main hand and this with a semicolon here and i believe here we're just missing a parenthesis at the very end but in here we have one error that you will see here and the reason for that is because this one actually expects a an array right here but what we're just going to do is we're just going to say dot 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 this will just make it so that we can pass in multiple parameters of the same type and it's basically going to convert this to a, a array on its own basically so that just makes our life a little bit easier and is also going to work totally fine I know that this might seem crazy, but that's actually all you need for a custom enchantment. The books are going to be registered on them on themselves, and the enchantment itself, of course, there's a few things that you might have to, you know, change if you want a particular enchantment here, but that's pretty much all that we need to do. The only other thing that we want is a translation. I'm going, just going to copy this over, and I'm going to put that at the very bottom here. This is enchantments, now tutorial mod, lightning striker. So this is, of course, the name given right here. And what's very important is that you don't need different translations for the different levels. This is all going to be basically the same thing. And now after having added all of that, let's see if it works. Or right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft again. And let's see. So Lightning Striker, there it is. So we have the Enchanted Book, Enchantment. Oh, there you go. So that actually was a little typo. We're going to fix that in just a moment. Let's also get a actually an anvil right here so that we can apply these and let's just see so let's do the one on the iron sword so if i put this in here you can see it works totally fine and on the titanium sword of course it works as well and let's just see so if i hit this of course a lightning spawns and i can also hit it with the other one and then two lightning spawn it's not going to be too noticeable in this moment but it is going to be something and there it is actually we've um killed the horse now this, of course, is an easy fix here. The translation is just going to be enchantment instead of enchantments. Oh, you come at the perfect time here. <laughs> there you go. So that is the enchantment. Right, and this is, of course, an easy fix. This is enchantment instead of enchantments. But that would pretty much be all that we need to do here. And that's how easy it can be to add your own enchantment. Now, of course, the actual procedure or things that happen with your enchantment, that's going to be the really hard part. Once again, a little bit of sort of an appeal get some java knowledge into you and then it's going to be way easier to figure out what to do but that would be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would of course appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one so yeah <laughs>